Hello and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. My name is Dan W. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Today, our Marvel Legends reviews continue with this lizard builder figure wave. And in front of me, we have another one of the most anticipated figures in the wave. Not necessarily for me, let's just say I was curious, but it is nevertheless Gwenpool. Now, this is quite a relatively new character in the Marvel world, and we'll get into that as we go along. But it's got quite a unique packaging compared to the rest of the wave. She's got her own logo from the comics. There's the G-spot if people have been struggling to find it. And uh, she's got some accessories. Um, mainly interchangeable hands. I like the way they've packaged her to try and make her look like she's doing a heart. Mine is not necessarily. Interchangeable heads, which I always appreciate. Some swords, and then that's the massive tail uh, from the Lizard Builder figure. Even a little phone as well. Haven't got a Marvel Legends phone yet. So uh, anyway, side of the box, more artwork of Gwenpool. On the back of the box, picture of Gwenpool taking a selfie. I bloody hate selfies. Uh, little write-up. Then as always, we get a list of all the figures. In the wave, we need to complete the Lizard Builder figure. Today we're reviewing Gwenpool. Same side art. So uh, yeah, let's uh, open her up. Pow, and here is Gwenpool out of the box. And to be fair, a very fun figure. If you're a fan of the character, then you're gonna be a fan of this figure as it does come with a lot of fun accessories. Um, straight out of the box, her leg is a little bit warped, but that's no one's fault, that can be fixed. And just a word of warning for Hasbro, I like the idea of trying to get her to do the heart symbol in the packaging, it's fun and different, I get it. But if you'd give your female figures double jointed elbows, then your own idea for the gimmick would have worked a lot better. But yeah, no double jointed elbows, so heart gimmick was a fail. Um, as I said, she comes with lots of accessories, including the build a figure piece for the lizard. Look how big that tail is. It is much bigger than her. Uh, look forward to building the build a figure lizard. So um, yeah, subscribe to the channel as I will be reviewing the lizard last with his articulated tail. So subscribe to the channel. Reviews come in for the rest of the wave. Move that out of the way. Her other accessories are an interchangeable head, which I'll do a close up in a, in a minute. She comes with some swords, which will go in her nice backpack. And again, I'll show you in a minute. And then she comes with some interchangeable hands and then a phone. I like the phone. She has a hand holding phone, which I believe is one of these, one of them. This one will do. So she can hold her phone, not a problem, easy. She even has a compartment on her belt, which is a, separate piece right there that you can put her phone into, which I appreciate storing accessories just to make sure I don't lose them. So yeah, that will go in there, nice and snug and it won't fall out either, that's pretty good. So hopefully that phone can stay in there. Backpack accessories, a little penguin, which I think is quite sweet. Um, and the sheath, yep, they go in the back. So the knives, uh, the knives, the swords go in the back there. Either way, whatever one works for you. In or out, in or out. Um, I don't like them crossing at the bottom. Let's poke them outwards. Sorry, that's just me being very OCD. Uh, anyway, she, Penguin looks after your swords for you. And uh, yeah, interchangeable head. So this other one is uh, like a sticky outy tongue. So let's zoom in and have a closer look at the figure. So here's a closer look at the smiley face that come packaged with the figure. And just a quick look at the rest of the figure. It's a simple, uh, paint job, but it's a very clean paint job. I don't see much wrong in blemishes or anything. Maybe on the joints here, you can see a little bit of pink poking through as it was white painted on pink plastic, but nothing um, crazy. I like the pink shoes and yeah, so as I said, that's probably the only blemishing, but other than that, it's looking all right. This head can pop off, nice and simple. The other head can pop on. This one's a bit more cheeky. She's got the tongue out. If you know anything about this character, then you know that it does suit her. Let's put one of the other hands in. So let's put, okay. So she's got two trigger finger hands as well, but she comes with no guns. So um, yeah, I'm not gonna show you all the hands, but um, let's show you the peace sign. So there she is doing the peace sign. It's always fun when Hasbro tries something different and uh, I do appreciate a Hasbro. But as I said, this is a very unique character and you may not know much about her. So now might be the perfect opportunity to say, Gwen Paul, who is she? 
So this is the part of the video where we ask the question, who is she? And I try and give you a little bit of information about the character that this figure is inspired by. So, Gwenpool, who is she? Gwenpool is noticeably another variation of the Gwen Stacy character, but this is in fact Gwendolyn Pool from apparently the real world, where the Marvel Universe are just comics. Her first full debut was in Howard the Duck, Volume 6, Number 1, in November 2015. When getting her costume made, she signed the request Gwenpool as that's her real name, so that's why the tailor made it very similar to Deadpool's. Her abilities are confusing as she can manipulate her world as she is aware she is in a comic book and uses this knowledge to her advantage. She claims to know everyone's secret identities and claims to have had some combat training. Nobody really knows how Gwenpool managed to sneak her way into the Marvel Universe, but she is now in full-fledged canon. So there you go, I hope that helped. Again, I do not claim to be an expert, especially on this character, but it is nice to get a little bit of information about the characters these figures are inspired by. And she is a very unique one, um, but I hope that sort of explains it. She sort of can break the fourth wall within the comic book, similar to Deadpool, but she uses it to her advantage. Talking about Deadpool, here he is on his Vespa. Now, I'm only gonna really compare her to a couple of figures, Deadpool being one of them. Um, let's get your kickstand on there. I don't have the new Dead, uh, Deadpool wave, unfortunately, uh, not yet anyway. Um, nothing's really jumping out at me about that wave to get it, but there's Deadpool and there is also Gwen Stacy, AKA Spider Gwen. Nearly forgot her name then, it's so confusing. So both obviously based on Gwen Stacy, but none of them are necessarily Gwen Stacy. That's Gwen Stacy of an alternative world, but she is someone different. She's just called Gwendolyn Paul. She just happens to have a name. Just another white and pink female character, but um, that's, they're fun I suppose, ain't they? Um, let's get Deadpool off his Vespa um, and stand him up properly so you can see the hybrid of the two. I've had him on that Vespa for a while, so we may be a bit, a bit stuck. No, he's all right. He's all right. There he is. All right. Okay. So still my favorite Deadpool figure, maybe until we get the new one. But yeah, so she is essentially a mix of the two in regards to design not necessarily story. Um, she stands about exactly the same height, to be fair, as Gwen Stacy, uh, Gwenpool. And I do have the unmasked head. So let's try that, shall we? I've heard it doesn't work, but let's find out for ourselves. So does it go on the peg for starters? No, it doesn't even go on the peg. So maybe you can finagle it drill it if you really wanted to but to be honest it doesn't really look like Gwendolyn Paul like Gwendolyn Paul has pink highlights and she doesn't have the hairband and I don't know it's just a really bland expression for this character so it doesn't pop on there uh, it might if you heat it up but I'm not going to try um, but yeah let's put the smiley face back on there but um, yeah that's the main comparison I'm going to do for these two Here's Gwenpool compared to the only other two figures I've reviewed in this wave so far, so make sure you check out the videos tab as I have got full reviews up of Mysterio and Spider-Man Noir. Um, these three will probably end up being my top three of the wave, that's why I did them first, but it doesn't, let's not count out the rest. We've still got the rest of the wave to go, so I may be speaking prematurely. Um, in regards to final thoughts on this character, I do think it's a fun figure. Um, she's not like one of my favorite characters, but again, I understand the hype that people have for anything Deadpool related and anything uh, Gwen Stacy related. So when you put them both together, it's a sort of winning formula in Marvel's eyes. So I understand why they did it. Um, and she's gonna look fun on the shelf. She's gonna pop on the shelf. I just wish we got an interchangeable head for her as it would have made it that a little bit better. But the accessories are fun. Really like that penguin backpack. And I think some other toy line are doing a Gwen Paul figure as well this year. But don't uh, don't quote me on which one. Maybe Figma. But um, let me know in the comments below as I'm sure one of you guys will know. But until next time, people, make sure you've gone to the videos tab, checked out the videos. And as always, hit that subscribe button for more videos. And I shall see you on the next one.